Okay, so this one is an example where we have the linear combination of two random variables, x and y. So we're given the expected value of both, the variance of both, and the covariance. And then we're told that this new random variable z equals 2x minus y. So first of all, what's the expected value? And the expected value of z equals the expected value of, we can substitute in, we've got 2x minus y. So this is the form of ax plus by, where in this case we've got a equals 2 and b equals minus 1. So if we look at the cheat sheet, we have some equations for this. So if we've got the expected value of ax plus by, we take the coefficient in front of x, put it at the front, times it by the expected value of x, coefficient in front of the y, put it in the front, times it by the expected value of y. So that's going to equal the coefficient in front of the x is 2, then we're going to have the expected value of x. Plus the coefficient in front of the y, which is minus 1, times the expected value of y. So that's 2 times the expected value of x is 1, minus the expected value of y is 3. So 2 minus 3 minus 1. So now the variance. Of the variance of z, that is going to equal the variance of 2x minus y. <coughs> so again, if we look at our cheat sheet, this time we take the coefficient in front of the x, square it, times it by the variance of x. Coefficient in front of the y, square it, times it by the variance of y. And then we take 2 times the coefficient in front of the x and the coefficient in front of the y times by the covariance of x and y. This term can often disappear if x and y are independent, this would be 0, this whole term would disappear and you just get these two. But in this case we have a covariance, so we use this full form. So, the coefficient in front of the x is 2, so we're going to have 2 squared times the variance of x. Plus, the coefficient in front of the y is minus 1. So that's going to be squared times the variance of y. Plus, we're going to have 2 times a, or a is the coefficient in front of the x, which is 2, times by b, which is the coefficient in front of y, which is minus 1, times the covariance of x and y. This equals, so we've got 4 times the variance of x is 1. Next we've got plus minus 1 squared is 1, so that's just 1. The variance of y is 2. And then finally we've got plus 2 times 2, which is 4 minus, times minus 1, which is minus 4. And the covariance of x and y is just 1. So we've got 4 plus 2 minus 4, which equals 2. Excellent. That's all for now. See you.